welcome to the Busy Book Homestead. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a recipe from a book I found on the Kindle Unlimited. Um, I know it's also to purchase, but I have, I subscribe to Kindle Unlimited every month. So I found this cookbook and it intrigued me because it's all things Hobbit and all things Lord of the Rings. It's called an Unexpected Cookbook. Super cute theme and everything in there has, that I've made so far has been delicious. But the one I want to share with you today is going to be the honey cakes. And while those are in the oven, we are going to be making a drink from another Hobbit cookbook. It is called the Essential Lord of the Rings Cocktail Cookbook. Um, and this one intrigued me because of the theme and I absolutely love the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. So this drink we're gonna be making is called Dark Sorcery. Now I don't have all of the actual, like the specific ingredients that it calls for in there, but we're gonna kind of make our own little version of it for what I do have and um, see how it goes. So let's get baking these cakes and then I'll see you back for the drink recipe. All right, so I am by no means a big to all of this, but this recipe was very intriguing. One, because I had all the stuff on hand, for the most part, pretty close. And also because it just looks really pretty in a glass. So I have my chilled glass. I recommend the chilled glass. I have some ice in my shaker. And I've got, it. the recipe is calling for blackberry smell. So I'm not really sure what that is, but I do have black raspberry liqueur. And it also needs vodka. I have some vanilla vodka. And it asks for a half an ounce of cranberry juice. Now, I like my drinks more on the juice rather than the alcohol side. So I'm going to go for a third of a cup of the cranberry juice as opposed to a half an ounce. So I'm going to put it all in my shaker. And we're going to mix it up and we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully it's good. Here we go.
in the fridge. So I took some, put them on a skewer, popped them in. I think it looks pretty. So hopefully it tastes good. It smells delicious. Oh yeah, that's nice. I think if I would use just a plain vodka, it probably would not have had the same effect for what I like. Um, but the vanilla does help a little bit. It gives it like that sweeter, kind of, kind of like a Christmas candy, actually. It's really good. Yeah, so I will link the book in the description, but I will also put in the description what I used because I changed the ingredients a little bit because I used what I had, but I stayed kind of within the same flavor profile. So that's really good. I'm going to get our cakes out of the oven in a minute, and uh, we will finish up the video at after the cakes are out. Our honey cakes from two different Hobbit themed cookbooks. The more subtle sweetness and a little bit of a, a bite from the wildflower honey pairs beautifully with the vanilla and the cranberry in the cocktail. So if you're going to make them, make them together. They are fantastic. Maybe serve them at a holiday party, a Christmas party, maybe do it for Thanksgiving. Uh, but that's going to be the end of our video and uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye!